I started my Guided Goals podcast, I believe it was 2015 to 2016, and it, I still see it as season one, and season two is coming soon. The thing about a podcast, which is wonderful, um, is it takes a lot of effort. All of these passion projects, the things that you're doing to either elevate yourself as an expert or to help your business move along or so people get to know you as a writer, as a person in another format. All these different things are wonderful. They all take time. So I hit, I hit the pause button on my podcast because Write on Blogging, which was my second book, was never going to get finished while I was recording and producing a podcast every week. Uh, but the reason that I started was because I wanted to introduce my community to other experts, whether it was in social media, business productivity, just, and these were nice 20 minute interviews, which helped introduce these people to my people and my people to other people who are experts in their field. So it was sort of a way for people who had social media goals to get to know my favorite Twitter person for people who want to know more about LinkedIn to get to know a LinkedIn expert. All these resources are what works with you and your skill set to elevate you, to get you um, the life you want, to help you achieve your goals. You're never going to achieve them on your own. You need to look around, gather resources, and I, it was just one resource that I was providing to others. If you have a podcast, if you do any sort of project, and it could be um, an audio podcast, video podcast, whatever sort of podcast you want, the first thing you want to do is you want to look at your schedule and see what is feasible. So if you can only do two podcast episodes a month, that's what you should do. If you can do one a week, even better. I had coffee with a friend the other day and she was saying she feels bad because she publishes her podcast every day. She had technical difficulties and was unable to maintain the five a week. And I stopped her and I said, really, you're doing five a week and you're stressing out? I would really like you to dial that back and do two a week or three a week because that is realistic. That's not going to stress you out that's something that you can do and maintain everything else that you're doing simultaneously. So the answer to your question is, when it comes to frequency of podcast episodes, figure out what you can do and maintain the rest of your life so you're not stressing about it. Because any project you work on should be fun. And if you're stressing because you can't get it done, the fun element kind of goes away. So there's, you know the answer. Whatever works for you is the right number of episodes to do.